My name is Arlene Spiegel, and I'm the founder and director of Arlene Spiegel and Associates, which is a full-service hospitality, retail, and restaurant consulting practice. The greatest challenge that operators are facing today is that they're living in a land of what if and confusion. Uh, the COVID has taught us so much about what we don't know, what we don't do well, what we have to learn. And also it prevailed with a lot of opportunities. And uh, you start to say, you know, what can I do to mitigate all of this chaos that probably will happen again in some form or another? One of the greatest things operators can do right now is to focus on how do they stay relevant to the changing needs of their population. While many uh, guests have returned to dining in, what happens when things change again? And do you have outdoor seating? Are you prepared to do curbside? Is your technology up to date where people could order ahead and pay ahead? What about your paper goods and your disposables? Are they the same good quality as people would have when they dine in your restaurant. So staying relevant and making sure that your brand standards and the delivering of the experience uh, is, is what people would expect from you. We're living in the world of logistics. Uh, ironically, I do a lot of work for Disney and one of the things they are the proudest of is that they're in the logistics business because they know how to move people, they know how to move product and they know how to move garbage. They process map the guest experience from the time that they park their cars, get into the lot, get on that little transom, get into the parks, pay their way. And so operators today literally have to think about all of the different ways that your customers are going to access your product and figure out the best way to get them there. And then back into a system Will you arrange your dining room, your kitchen, re-engineer your menu, utilize and cross-train your staff so that they're efficiently delivering to those customers regardless of where the orders are coming in. And that means you need to master two things, technology and logistics. At times when you're not using your kitchen in the back, maybe you can become a ghost kitchen for another brand I have a wonderful caterer um, in New York who obviously is not doing the business that he thought he would, but he has chefs, he has kitchen, he has all his equipment, he has a parking lot, and he now is a ghost kitchen for four major national brands that want to expand their audience, but they don't want to create brick and mortar establishments. There's also so many uh, opportunities now to partner with the local governments to feed hospital workers. And the good news is that even when dining comes back to normal, these relationships and these opportunities can create efficiencies and what I call yield management. So your staff is always busy, your equipment is always working, your product and supply is always rotating. And so now you have to think of yourself as being a fulfillment center or basically your own ghost kitchen, as we said. There are more opportunities now than ever before and smart operators who have a big faith in the fact that people need to eat <laughs> will find their way.